What's up, guys? What's going on today? Yeah, 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 yeah. This Sunday, September the 26th, 2021. And them, fin- them Falcons finally won one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Today, man, I want to talk about, man, guys and stuff out there. Don't, in- don't get involved in the entitled, with the entitled woman. Or the, a woman that thinks she's deserving of everything. And don't want to give nothing. What I mean by that. What if y'all in a relationship? Yeah. And uh. She doesn't work. And you out there working. One, two jobs. Maybe three. Some of y'all don't even. <laughs> work hard. Damn take care of your children. But you will with an entitled woman. And this woman want to. Stay at the house. Wake up at 12, go shopping at 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, spending your money. And don't want to do anything. Hanging out with her girlfriends, having a cocktail. And uh, when you get out from work, there's no dinner cooked, the house not clean. You tell her why she ain't cook. You ask her why she ain't cook. She going to tell you why you ain't stop and get you something. Now, it might be just me, my opinion. If you stay at the house all day, then you don't have to work. Maybe a boyfriend or husband might tell you you don't have, you don't need to work. But anyways, I would deserve a hot meal when I got home. But hello, how was your day, baby? Hey, something clothes washed. But these entitled women, they don't want to do anything. They don't want to cook. They don't want to keep the house clean. And they sure damn want to, don't want to do no fucking laundry. So what's the point of having an entitled woman? She might be fine and all like in this shit like that. She might lay it down in the bed, bedroom for you. Other than that, she's not doing anything for you. But taking, taking. And taking, draining you mentally and financially. Because a lot of these women look at social media, media, and the reality shows. Boy, I want to be like that. I don't want to do but spend this guy's money. And when you start dating these women, the signs are there. But you probably don't pay no attention because you're looking at that eyes, yeah, yeah, and them hips. In them legs. When a woman talk, talks about how she was spoiled with her daddy, her mother, or whoever it might be, uncle. When a woman brings that up all the time, that's a red flag. She's trying to tell you in so many words, she wants you to take over where they left off. Yeah, baby. I'm going to go out and buy this this latest purse. This new, this new coach bag. This Michael Coors. Prada. Gucci. Cartier's. And these same women, you you tell her, hey, 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 hey baby, can you pick up me a, a six pack before I get home from work? Oh, I don't have it. I, I don't buy beer. I, I don't have... Six, seven, eight dollars, but you buy you you buy six, seven hundred dollar damn uh, bags, pocketbooks, and shit like that, and shoes and dresses, trying to look good for the next guy. Hmm. When you get tired of this person, then you gonna drain them all it of all of his funds. You on to the next motherfucker like a vampire. Is it worth it, guys? Is it really worth it? For you to kill yourself for some piece of ass that's not doing a damn thing for you. You might as well just be by yourself and just date and meet somebody out and have sex with them going by your business. Because these women ain't, ain't no good. You end up in jail or when they out or end up getting hurt. Seriously. So, 
if you see the signs, man, and if you in one of them relationships, you need to think about what the hell you what the hell you doing. You don't have to really pay somebody to be with you. You scared to be alone? To dish out all this money. And a lot of these people, a lot of these guys, they don't even take care of their own kids. But they see a fine piece of ass, they willing to give up everything. Hey, baby, here go my credit card. Huh, but you won't give your own kids your credit card. Hey, baby, huh, take the BMW, take the Lamborghini. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna take you and buy you one this weekend. Or next weekend. And these women ain't doing them making a fool out of you. They bragging to their girlfriend. Huh, 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 I got this guy. He's not on my hand. Huh? All I got to do is just walk around with some, with some lingerie for him. And he'll be okay. And then in a lot of occasions, these guys are not even screwing these women. Hmm. They just want somebody to walk beside them as a prize. Look what I got. <laughs> You don't, apparently you don't have nothing. You don't really have anybody that love you. Nobody's willing to cook for you. They, they wash your dirty drawers. They even they probably don't even indulge in a conversation with you. Again, what's the purpose? Because it's a fine piece of ass. Hmm. But you really just you willing to spin, 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 spin. Screw that. Screw that. I would rather be alone than somebody that's keep going in my pockets because they feel like they are fucking entitled. They're too good to work. Hmm? And all they want to do is ride around in them and say the Benz or BMW or whatever, Audi, hmm? and walk around in the mall all cute. Well, you think you're cute. You pull off the damn, you pull off that weave and them eyelashes and that makeup. How you look then? Like a monkey? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all about perception. It's all about perception, guys. These women dress up for a reason to get a, a get a, <laughs> to make a fool out of people. To make a fool. To make a mockery out of you. He ain't no woman. <laughs> he ain't no woman in hell that looks that good to make me come out of my come out of my damn pocket. Screw that. You ought to have more sense than that. You ought to love yourself more than that. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Use that money to take care of your children, your family. You don't have to be. Don't be a trick. Don't be a trick. Call sugar daddy, whatever you want to call it. Hmm? But uh, guys, wake up and stop dealing with these entitled women. They're not entitled to anything. When you get in a relationship, it's 50-50. It's give and take on both, both sides. It's not no one-sided thing. If it is, you need to think about what the hell are you doing. A relationship is something you build. Y'all build together. Y'all help each other. Y'all do shit for one another. Not, I do this, I do that, and the other person don't do shit, but take, 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 take. But, uh, guys, if you're in a relationship like that, you need to, be th you need to think about what you're doing. And guys, there are dating women like that. Their signs are there. When a woman's telling you, my daddy, my mama, my uncle, my auntie spoiled me when I was a kid or when I was younger. That's a red flag, guys. Don't go down that road. Trust me. Don't go down that road. But anyways, day of Sunday, September the 26th, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, share my videos. And like. And this is Big Joe, man. Enjoy the rest of your damn Sunday. And I am motherfucking out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah.
Yayo. Yayo.